Hey, what's up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. Now I've been coming out with some videos and I've been killing dragons really, really fast in like seconds. And a lot of people have been asking, how do you do that? Like, how am I so OP? So I'm going to go ahead and explain it in this video. Now, in all those videos I've been posting, I'll probably put some links in the annotations, maybe in the description to those videos if you want to check them out. What I've been doing is I've been combining like tier 3 focus abilities and this is my team I use with my reaver but this is the team I normally like always use sometimes it will be different like let's say I was playing as a rogue I probably would use I probably would get rid of Sarah and instead I would have like Cassandra or Iron Bull or Blackwall or someone like that so that's one thing if I was playing as a mage I would maybe get rid of Solus uh, it depends on what type of mage it is though I like always use Cole though. I love Cole. Like he's one of my favorite people in the game. So yeah, there's some different factors into that. Now, if you don't know about tier three focus abilities, the way that you unlock tier three is that you have to do it through your Inquisition perks. It's in forces. Once you unlock it and you build it up, what you need is you need your Inquisitor with Mark of the Rift. You need Sarah with Thousand Cuts and Cole with Mark of Death, and then Solus. Now. Firestorm doesn't work against fire dragons, obviously, but against the frost ones and the lightning ones, it does. And if you combine all that together, once everything goes off, the dragon should just die. And if it doesn't die, then it will be really close to death. Now, that takes about 8 seconds of actual game time. Now, it's going to take you longer, like maybe 20 to 40 seconds to do it all, because you're going to be using your tactical camera, you're going to be issuing orders... And making sure everything's in place for the combo to go off and then kill the dragon. But in actual game time, it's only 8 seconds. And you will know that because of Mark of Death. If Mark of Death kills him, then you know that it was 8 seconds because the duration of Mark of Death is only 8 seconds. So that's one way to do it. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, though. I'm going to be showing you another technique. And trust me, this technique is actually a lot better. So, I mean, it's crazy. Now, if you guys don't know, Tempest is just so fucking broken. Now, I believe that there's a glitch. And some people would maybe argue with me. They'll say, nah, it's not a glitch. It's supposed to be like that. I don't know, guys. I don't buy it. Um, and the reason why I don't buy it is because if you just read what the fire potion does, it doesn't say anything about this. And I just think that it was not intentional for this to happen. But what you can do is you can use the fire potion and then you can actually use thousand cuts. And if you use thousand cuts, you actually don't consume any of your focus. So if you have the tier three like focus perk and you have it built up, you can actually like run around and you, if you, let's say you see a mob of enemies, you can run to that mob of enemies, use thousand cuts and that should probably kill them all. And then when you get to the next mob of enemies, your fire potion should be back and you just repeat. You never go through your focus and you just kill everything in seconds. It's really fucking boring and I don't like to do it. So I don't actually recommend it. But that is something you can do. And in fact, if you wanted to, what you can do is you can actually just use Mark of Death and then Sarah with her little glitch with the Fire Potion and Thousand Cuts. Do that twice on any dragon and the dragon should die. I mean, it should just die. That's the reality of it. So that is something you can do if you really want to. Now, Tempest is broken, like I said. I guess some people are going to want to know the builds. Now, I make Sarah a dual-wielding rogue, okay? And I think she's a lot better. I'm not going to explain that in this video. I'm going to be coming out with another video where I'm going to explain things a little bit better. And in that video, I'm going to be talking about how to become, like, really overpowered early on for Nightmare. I'm talking about the second you get the Skyhold, you can become so fucking strong, and the game is so much of a cakewalk. Now, some people will say, oh, that's not so fun, but I don't know. I like being overpowered. That's like one of my main things I like to do in video games, especially RPGs, is become as overpowered as possible and just, just show like, you know, or at least feel like I am like some god, you know? So that is uh, something I like to do. Maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel. And I think that uh, a dual-wielding Sarah is a lot better than an archer Sarah. But that is my opinion, and I will explain that in the other video. So I'm not going to like talk about everything I go for, because that's going to take too long. But if you guys just want to see it for yourself, you can see it. And I'm level 22, by the way. And the dragon we're going to be fighting is the Highland Ravager. 
He's level 23, and he's really honestly like the strongest dragon. It, unless you want to count like the ones at the end of the game, which I guess you could count those, but I don't. Now for Tempest, go for everything in Tempest. Every single thing in Tempest is important. I go for a little bit of stealth. Um, it's not really, it's not really necessary, but just do it. I guess it's up to you. For Cole, same deal. The only real difference here is I go for this because assassins are all about stealth, and that will put him into stealth, and that's really, really good. Uh, for his assassin tree, I go for everything but the focus ability. You could go for this. I just don't like it, so I don't go. I don't bother. I go for some stealth stuff, and if you wanted to, some of these passives are actually pretty decent. So that is something if you wanted to do that. For Solus, and this is really for any mage, you want to go for the Spirit Tree. It's amazing. You don't really have to get some of these upgrades. I mean, they're not bad, but I just don't bother. I don't really care. Um, for the Storm Tree, now Storm Tree is amazing. Just everything in here is like really freaking good for different reasons. I'm not going to explain why this is amazing, but this is absolutely amazing. One of the best things for mages. Um, and yeah, Static Static Cage is so freaking good. Fire tree is not bad. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, because of Firestorm, the fire tree is like amazing for Solus. I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's not, I don't really think it's necessary. This perk right here, this passive, is actually really nice for any mage that is not a knight enchanter. Because if you're a mage and you're just attacking from range, you're probably not going to be moving around. You're just going to be standing there attacking and casting spells. And this will allow you to get your mana, your mana back uh, faster. The only problem is that it's kind of a contradiction if you go for this perk. This perk is all about more damage, uh, the less mana you have. So if you want to get this, then I wouldn't recommend this. But if you don't go for that storm perk, you can get this instead. And that's really, really good. For his, um, what is this? This is his rift mage. I go for pretty much everything. The main thing here, like you might be wondering, why don't I go for this, and why don't I go for that? Um, the reason why is because Pool of the Abyss is the really, really important thing here. This ability is so freaking amazing, guys. Solus, in my opinion, is the best mage in the game. A lot of people love Vivian, but I just think Solus is better. Firestorm is an amazing focus ability, and Pool of the Abyss just helps out a lot. It weakens enemies for you, and that is really, really nice. Now, for my Reaver... I would actually really recommend going for Focus Teamwork. I don't have it right now because I don't need it, but I would actually really recommend going for that. But for the Reaver stuff, I go for everything but the Focus Ability. I don't go for the Focus Ability because I use Mark of the Rift instead. Um, for the Vanguard Tree, I go for almost everything. I would probably, if I could reset right now, I would get rid of Challenge. and Instead, I would go for Focus Teamwork. So that is something if you wanted to know. And now this is really important. This is important for any warrior. Any warrior. You want to get Horn of Valor. Horn of Valor is so freaking good. When you get the upgrade for it, you get 50% more damage for your like entire party. It's crazy. And it lasts for 10 seconds. It's so freaking good. So I really recommend getting this. And if like, you, let's say you're using Cassandra, go for this and prefer it and just have her cast it all the time. And if you're using like, dueling rogues and stuff it's you get so much bonus damage it's so good and that's basically it all right now weapon wise i know some people are going to say what about the weapons what about the weapons um for my reaver i'm using this sword but for like my other videos where i was posting of me killing those dragons i wasn't using this sword because i didn't have it yet this sword is like the highest dps like two-handed weapon in the game i'm pretty sure i'm not 100 percent on that but i do believe it is that's why I'm using it. But for those videos, I was just using this sword. I crafted it. And you can craft it easily because you get the schematic in the Hissing Oasis. And you can go there really early on. Same with the dual blades. Like I have some dual blades on uh, Sarah and on Cole. And basically, like um, I got these from the Hissing Oasis. You can go there early on and get these. I have some Master Dragon Slaying runes. On Sarah right now you don't have to have dragon slaying runes but they do help if you want to like just really kill a dragon fast and because this is my final dragon and I had these I was like you know what I'm just gonna use them just to kind of show off for this video and that's it I don't ever use them ever because they're only good against dragons and you only fight like 10 dragons or I guess technically 12 dragons in the game 
and I just think that's fucking stupid. Like, I just don't see the point of using them. Instead, I like to use, like, lightning or fire or frost and that kind of stuff for weapons like this. Alright, so that's pretty much the gear. Um, everyone else doesn't really matter. There is something I should actually talk about, though, because this is important. This is all, like, random, but if you can get your hands on it, it's really good. I, I highly recommend holding on to it. If you can get some enhanced Thousand Cuts ring, get it, hold on to it. Don't get rid of it because this ring is super good. It adds 30% more damage to Thousand Cuts. So if you're going to be fighting a dragon and you're going to be using Thousand Cuts, put this on and just go to town. Same with Solus because I believe I have a Firestorm ring on him. And I actually just keep this on him because he spams Firestorm. If you prefer it, he always gets it and he always uses it. And it's pretty useful. So this is another ring I would actually like recommend holding on to if you can get it but it's all random so it's kind of like luck of the draw her other ring is going to be critical damage and that's basically it i mean everything else doesn't really matter i have some cunning on her you can use dexterity doesn't really make a big difference all right so that's pretty much the setup now the strategy um is very simple i'm going to combine horn of valor with mighty offense tonics now i'm sure some people are going to say how do I get that recipe? Now I'm going to quickly try to explain it, but there's videos and guides you can probably look up on YouTube about this. You can also look it up on the Wikipedia. But yeah, so basically, if you go to the Storm Coast, there's a camp right here, the Small Grove Camp. Somewhere in this area is like a cabin. And if you find the cabin, there's like a door that's locked inside the cabin. And then you can come down here to this camp, and somewhere around here, this guy can actually spawn in random locations. It's a rebel mage. If you find him, you kill him, he drops the key, and then they'll mark the cabin on your map. So you come back, and you open the door, and in the basement, you will find the Mighty Offense Tonic. You want to fully upgrade it, because it will add bonus damage. It adds bonus damage to guard, bonus damage to barriers, but the best thing is bonus critical damage. 100% bonus critical damage so i mean it's amazing so like i said we're going to be combining that with horn of valor then i'm going to be using mark of death for a little bit of a debuff it's like minus 20 percent armor and then we're going to be using pull of the abyss since firestorm is not useful against a fire dragon we're not going to use that but normally i would probably use firestorm against a non-fire dragon and pull of the abyss if i can pull it off and then we're going to finish them off with thousand cuts that will be our strategy. Let's go and do this. And trust me, this will blow your mind. Anyway, now some people I'm sure are going to say, oh, you know, do you know that you can use the horse? Yes, yes, you can use the horse. Don't recommend it though. Do the jump because see, when you jump down here like this, look how close I am to the dragon. The other thing is the dragon was asleep. So now he has to wake up and that's going to take time. If you come down with the horse, you have to recover from the fall with the horse then you have to get off the horse, and by the time you do all that, the dragon should be awake and trying to attack you, so I don't recommend it. This dragon's gonna die so fucking fast that my Inquisitor is perfectly fine, okay? Perfectly fine. Alright, now, I guess I'll quickly show this just in case someone wants to say something. Yes, it's on Nightmare. It is on Nightmare. I never play on anything but Nightmare. Alright, so we're gonna start off by using Mighty Offense Tonics. Honestly, Cole doesn't need it. The Inquisitor probably can use it and um sarah definitely can use it but it's whatever so go ahead and drink all the potions now next thing we're going to use horn of valor any warrior can use this so it's up, it's up to you as long as you bring a warrior switch the coal we need to lock on now this dragon has three hundred and eleven thousand health so that's how much damage we need to do all right, so we're going to use Mark of Death with him. Then we're going to switch over to Solus. We're going to go ahead and use Pool of the Abyss on the dragon. Now we're going to switch back to our Inquisitor. Once the horn goes off, we're going to pause it again. Then we're going to use Mark of the Rift. This ability is amazing. It does a lot of damage. But the main thing here is that it's going to hold the dragon in place for us. You don't have to use this, but it does help because it's going to hold that dragon in place for us. Alright, we're going to cast that. Now we're going to go to Sarah, and it's time to kill the dragon. We're going to use our fire potion, and watch it melt. It's over 9,000! Yeah, buddy. 1,000 cuts. Didn't even need to use the glitch. 
But that's how broken Tempest is. I mean, it is absolutely broken. Um, remember, the reason why that just happened is because I combined Horn Devourer with Mark of Death debuff, Pull of the Abyss debuff, and the Mighty Offense Tonic. That is why it just one-shotted it. The weapon I was using was crafted. You can get it from the Hissing Oasis. I was using Dragon Slaying Runes, but trust me, you don't need to do it. It's up to you, though. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all I can say. Remember, you can kill dragons as well in a different way. It depends on how you want to go about doing it. If you go for like this kind of build, where you just go for massive offense, massive debuffs, massive buffs, 1,000 cuts should always do the job for you. But you could go ahead and combine Mark of the Rift from your Inquisitor, Mark of Death from Cole, 1,000 cuts from Sarah, and you can also combine uh, Firestorm and also Pool of the Abyss. I would use both of those. And if you do all that, the dragon should die from just from the focus abilities and from the mark of death going off the dragon should die so those are a couple ways that you can kill dragons like instantly it's absolutely ridiculous i know some people are going to say god damn it jumping you broke the game i know i broke the game but that's what i like to do i'm i love to be op anyway guys i would really appreciate it that you would like this video favorite this video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and poo so